Breaking news! Classic SNL news anchor parody sketch remains incredibly easy for lazy comedians to rip off. Film at 11. Good evening, I'm Bob, and this is whatever we decide to call this. New reports from insiders at Walt Disney and Lucasfilm suggest that the standalone Star Wars film centered on the exploits of Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi, previously thought indefinitely delayed, may have returned to active pre-production. Reached for comment on this bombshell development that a multi-billion dollar film and merchandising empire was not in fact immediately shuttered following its first moderate box office disappointment and dorks throwing an internet tantrum about Laura Dern's hair and a non anonymous source placed highly within Lucasfilm was quoted as saying, no shit, followed by, my shocked face, this is. A casting call sheet purporting to feature character breakdowns for Warner Brothers' upcoming reboot of the Mortal Kombat movie franchise was recently posted online. Fans were surprised to discover, among other things, the absence of popular characters like Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and Johnny Cage, the reimagining of Raiden into a 14-year-old boy, and the addition of a new main character, a down-on-his-luck widowed boxer fighting to keep custody of his precocious young daughter from his vindictive sister-in-law with the support of his wise and saintly mother. Because what Mortal Kombat was missing all this time was one more male hero with a generic action hero backstory. Warner Brothers has also officially greenlit the standalone Joker origin movie, which will star Joaquin Phoenix in a gritty, realistic retelling of the Batman arch nemesis backstory, apparently not connected to the continuity of the DC Extended Universe films, set to be helmed by the director of The Hangover. This will apparently not interfere with continuing development of another Joker solo movie, set to be built around Jared Leto's version of the character from Suicide Squad, which is itself separate from his expected participation in the Birds of Prey movie, which is actually actually the Harley Quinn movie. We now go live to a pair of ironic visual metaphors. Just. Shocking. Horror movie specialty studio Blumhouse will produce a film version of the video game sensation Five Nights at Freddy's, which features a security guard trapped in a possibly haunted children's gimmick restaurant whose animatronic mascots come to life and try to kill him. Director Chris Columbus of Home Alone and the first two Harry Potter films will direct the feature. No word on whether the studio plans to release the adaptation to theaters or if they will attempt to recreate a proper Five Nights at Freddy's experience by instead releasing a 90-minute webcam feed of some jackass on Twitch pretending to be frightened by it. Keeping an eye on that one. DC Comics has announced Eisner-nominated and Hugo-winning writer G. Willow Wilson, the co-creator and longtime writer of Miss Marvel, as the new head ongoing writer of Wonder Woman. Reached for comment, Comics Twitter responded as follows. Strong opinions there. Neil Blomkamp, the director of District 9, Elysium, and Chappie, has signed on to direct Robocop Returns, a direct sequel to the celebrated 1987 Paul Verhoeven film, which will ignore and override the events of the much derided second and third sequel and instead be based on an unused sequel treatment from original screenwriter Ed Neremeyer. Boy, it's a good thing nobody did a stupid thing like remake Robocop and miss the whole point of it, right? I mean, what a shit show that would have been, right? <clears throat> Jim Carrey will portray Dr. Robotnik in the live-action CGI hybrid Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which will also star James Marsden as a human police officer who teams up with the rebellious Sonic the Hedgehog, and none of that stuff I just said is made up for this joke. You know, back in 1994, Jim Carrey famously said, Somebody stop me! And now I'm kind of feeling like maybe somebody should have. And now, before we close out, some personal news. If you're attending the San Diego Comic-Con this year, you can see me on two big panels, Trailer Reactions Live at 7 p.m. Friday, July 20th, and Everyone's a Critic, Being a Critic in an Online Age, Saturday, July 21st at 5 p.m. Check the SDCC website for full up-to-date schedule and all times and locations are subject to change, and feel free to say hi if you see me on the floor, unless you're an asshole, in which case, please don't. I'm Bob, and this has been a newsreader sketch, so let's see if this becomes anything.
Hey gang, here's a question that keeps coming up. If your handle is Movie Bob, where are your movie reviews? Well, my old reviews are in a lot of places. You'll find many of them on my YouTube channel, but you'll find the brand new ones on Geek.com, an awesome site that's also your one-stop news source for science, TV, gaming, technology, nerd culture, the works. You can find all my reviews directly by going to Geek.com slash author slash B. Chapman, because that's my real name, and you can get regular updates on all my reviews and all of Geek.com's other great content by signing up for their kick-ass newsletter at subscribe.geek.com. And don't forget to also subscribe to the Geek.com YouTube channel, where you'll find the videos that accompany my reviews and tons of other great content, too. Remember, that's Geek.com, the Geek.com newsletter, and Geek.com on YouTube. Make sure you don't miss out on all the latest Movie Bob reviews. You can also check out my own new website, Movie Bob Central, where you'll find my blog, links to all my work, and shop for my books, ebooks, and future Movie Bob products. And please remember to like these videos, share them with all of your friends, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching another Movie Bob production.